just mentioning the two names again, being um, of Michelle and Raz, identified in 1 Chronicles 5.13, side by side, their numbers. When you add those two numbers together, they total 5,402, 5402. And this is the age difference between Yahweh's sister June, who was born on August the 18th in 1938. It's the age difference between the two of them. And here we have the measurements of the Great Pyramid. These are all really important. These are, uh, well, let's go through them. When you add from the Great Step leading into the King's Chamber, that uh, number 537.0278 added to the displacement factor number of 286.1 pyramid inches, plus 230.05379, totals 1053.18159 multiplied by a moon lunation which is 29.53052 days the total is 31101 and this number equals the verse total of the entire King James 1611 Bible it leads, that number, 31101, leads to one unique verse in the Old Testament genealogy, the first book of Chronicles, that same verse we were just talking about, 513, where you have the names of Michael, Meshalem, Sheba, Jorai, Yakan, that's Michelle, Zia, Raz, mother and daughter, Heba, adding them all, equals the Bible verse total when divided by the seven names for an average of the God number, 4443. Here is a diagram. Top view, side view. A top view and then a side view. You can see there the width of the antechamber highlighted, that's a key number. 116.26 recurring throughout Yahweh's life between his uh, daughters and Michelle's daughters and ages and it's a wonder of the intelligence of the mind of the creator where he has written into the creation through the measurement of it all everything about him in his first and second incarnation. Here is a diagram again of the antechamber leading into the king's chamber. The length of the antechamber there again, 116.2603 pyramid inches, is equal to the diameter of a circle whose circumference is, where have you seen this number before, 365.24235 pyramid inches. And of course, that's the number of days in a solar year. Going back over to 1 Chronicles 5.13, and their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael. How many, how many family members in your family were named Michael and Eleven. Michelle? Eleven. Because, <laughs> of course, Michelle is the feminine of Michael. Eleven family members through uh, Michelle, Mary Magdalene, were named Michael or Michelle. And Meshalem and Sheba, Jorai, Yakan and Zia, identifying Mary Magdalene and her daughter, Raz and Heba, for a total of seven. Yahweh was 1162.6 weeks, the width of the antechamber number, when he married his own children's mother. The age between his daughter and stepdaughter in years and days between he and Michelle, the antechamber number, 116.26. Now we pass through the chamber into the king's chamber, measuring to the far wall from the gallery, great step. The coffer is to the right, 286.1 pyramid inches. 
then measure to the ceiling, add the three numbers, then multiply by illumination, equals 31101, the same number as the verse total for the KGV, as well as the Julian Day number Yahweh was reborn on. Julian Day, 2431101, equals January the 11th, 1944. Same diagrams. Now, you'll notice to the summit platform, the capstone which is missing is a reference to Psalms 118 verse 22, which is the verse that as Jesus here referred to in the New Testament over in Matthew 21, 42, where he was talking to his disciples and he said, have you not heard of the stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the pyramid and it is marvellous in our sight. They actually said it's the Lord's doing and it's marvellous in our sight. Now, of course, the Bibles that everybody's reading, the word was changed to corner, has become head of the corner, which of course is confusing and nobody really knows what it means. But in fact, the original, more original, Essene account, Jesus actually spoke of the capstone to the pyramid because, of course, it was his altar. He knew all about it. Now, uh, there's a reference to Isaiah 44:13, measuring with a compass. It's the measure of a man. That's exactly right. The measure of the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt is the measure of a man, the returned Lord Jesus Christ in his second incarnation because the pyramid is prophetic. It's a book. It's the book of stone that was shut up until the time of the end when Lucifer actually reset lunation zero on December the 22nd, sorry, December the 18th, 1922. And that was the beginning of the reading of the pyramid in these last days, the last 90 years until January the 11th, 2013. And of course, the 286.1 pyramid inches, the displacement, displacement factor, is all about the rejection of the Lord in his second incarnation. The base was reduced from 36. 524.24 pyramid inches down to 36238.14 pyramid inches and is the reason why the summit platform was too small. It could not handle the capstone and so it was rejected too big, which indicates today the mind and intellect of mankind has become way smaller than it used to be and so when the returned Lord Jesus Christ comes along and explains the mystery of the pyramid, it is too much. They cannot accept it, and so they reject him. Now, 204 layers of masonry is the height of the pyramid with the missing capstone in place. It currently stands to the summit platform, 202 layers. The capstone represents Yah at 30.500001 feet high. Yah in Hebrew is 3050. And this number is found only once in the Old Testament and gives us a mathematical truth. The sacred name of God is Yah, meaning Yahweh, being Jesus then and now. It was the soul of Yahweh, the Father went to the cross. It was the soul of Yahweh, the Father, that went to the cross. He was in the younger body of Jesus. Reincarnation was taught throughout the known world by the Hindu, which is the oldest religion, and that influenced breakaway cults which accumulated in the Pharisee and Sadducee priesthood at the time of Jesus. 
The sacred name of God is Yah, meaning Yahweh. Each layer of the pyramid represents a solar eclipse. And then internally, the height of the chambers is 1114 pyramid inches high, which is 92.931736 feet. And each inch represents a lunation from December the 18th, 1922 until January the 11th, 2013. One pyramid inch represents a lunation of 29.53042 days. The date of lunation zero was intended to pinpoint the city of On, Egypt, as the distance from the moon location on the earth to On is the number for Israel in the Greek concordance. Freemasonry guard themselves as builders. Everything is laid out according to concordance numbers. Today, all leaders of the Western world either willingly or are terrorised into accepting the abominations of Solomon and worship the Khazar Jewish leaders, the Rothschilds, and 300 families that genetically link to the Danish tribe of Dan. Each year, world Western leaders in, gather together in California and worship Moloch at Bohemian Grove. Now, the distance from Bohemian Grove, measuring to the North Pole in miles, is 3,091. That number in Greek is lot. The father, via incest with his daughters of the Moabite and Ammonite tribes, and they have reincarnated into today's families worshipping Moloch the Owl, as seen on the US dollar, money being the root of all evil. The owl represents the wisdom of Solomon and stealth striking in the secrecy of darkness. It is concealed within the dollar.